working with Texas Heart Institute and they basically developed a wireless pacemaker. And they want some a device that would create the accurate motion of the heart so that they would be able to test their pacemaker. Our clients have a tank set up at the Texas Heart Institute, but the reason they asked us to develop this device is because their setup only has the tissue um, in a stationary place. So they have a table where they can place the tissue and practice catheter ablations on all that stuff, but it's not realistic to what happens during a surgery, during catheter ablations, because the heart's going to be pumping, um, the person's still going to be breathing while that's all happening. So while doctors can practice at that setup, it's less accurate than what we're trying to achieve, which is the motion, um, which would presumably make uh, the surgery itself a little more difficult to practice. Overall, you just you continue to develop and develop your device, and then you know hopefully you get a really working device. And I think you know we're getting far along. You know every day we learn something new, so I mean our device is looking really promising.